What's up guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can turn on your computer using your Android smartphone. So without further ado, let's get started. Now before I begin, the process I'm going to show you today is pretty similar amongst most PCs out there. Unfortunately, because we all have different computer setups, it's kind of impossible to really show you the exact step unless you really have everything that I have on my computer. So with that being said, you may have to take additional steps that I don't show here in my video. Now the first thing you want to do is turn on your computer and go into the BIOS. You can do this by clicking on the F2 or delete key. And once you're inside, you're going to have to make sure that we enable power to the network adapter. Now certain BIOS have a setting specifically for Wake on LAN. In the case of my computer or my motherboard, I have to go into the APM menu and I have to make sure that the power on PCIe is enabled. Once you're done, make sure you save your settings and restart your computer. Now once you're inside Windows, do a search for Device Manager. Click on the small arrow next to the Network Adapters. You might see a few on that list, but find the one that says Network Adapter. What you want to do next is right click and go into Properties. Once you do that, go into the Power Management tab and make sure allow this device to wake the computer and only allow a magic packet to wake the computer is checked. Now we need to find out what our MAC address is and also our local IP. So in order to do this, we need to do a search for CMD and that will bring up the command prop window. What you need to do is type in ipconfig space forward slash all. Now what you want to do is scroll to the top and you'll find a section called physical address. That is your MAC address. You want to write that number down. Now towards the bottom you'll see IPv4 address. That is your local IP address. You also want to write that number down. Now the next step we need to do is log into your router. And in order to do this, you're going to have to type this IP address into your web browser. That's 192.168.0.1. Once you do that, you're going to have to enter your username and password for your router. Now depending on the router modem that you will have, it will look different from what you see here on my computer, unless of course you have the exact same model as I do. What you need to do is a port forward. In my router, I go to advance, and then towards the bottom there is a button called forwarding. So here I can create a new port forward by clicking on IPv4. Since I already did mine, I'm just going to go ahead and click on edit so you guys can see my settings. So under local IP address, what you want to do is type in your local IP address, and that's the number you wrote down earlier, which should start off as a 192.168.0, and then dot, and then there's a different number. In my case, mine is 15. We then want to open up port 9, so make sure that your start and end port are 9, and the same goes for external start and end port. We want to make sure that those are also 9. Now if you're using Windows 8 or 8.1, there's one more step. Otherwise, if you're using Windows 7 or something older, you can go ahead and skip this next step. Basically in Windows 8, when you shut down your computer, it actually puts it in a hybrid shutdown state. Now it does this so that when you turn your computer on, it boots a lot quicker. So we need to go ahead and disable that. Go into your power options, then click on choose what the power buttons do. Under shutdown settings, what you want to do is make sure you uncheck turn on fast startup. And that's basically it. Your computer is now all set up. Now all we need to do is set up the Android phone. Now in order to do this, go to the Play Store and do a search for Wake on LAN. Now there's a lot of applications out there. I basically downloaded whichever one was first. So by no means do I say this is the best one out there. You can go ahead and download and experiment with others. Once you do that, go ahead and open up the app. Now all we need to do is just fill out the details. So for example, on host name, this is the computer that you're turning on. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and type in office computer. Now IP address is the IP address that you should have written down. And it's also the IP address that you enabled port forwarding on the router. So go ahead and type your IP address. That is the local IP address. And then all you need to do is type in the MAC address. Once you do that, go ahead and Push on try it or save, and you're pretty much done. If you did everything right, your computer should turn on, and that information is stored on your Android phone, so whenever you want to go ahead and turn on your computer, you don't have to remember the IP address or the MAC address. 
it just saves there as one of your host computers. And of course you can enable more than one computer if you want to. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can use Tasker and Auto Voice so that you can use OK Google to initiate a command through voice so that you can turn on your computer using your smartphone without having to push a button. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more of these types of videos, make sure you hit that like button. It lets me know that you guys really enjoyed the video. But most importantly, when you guys reshare this video, it really shows me that you guys really want to see these types of videos where I show you a lot of neat stuff on what you can do with your Android phone. Until next time, adios.